And now it is time, ladies and gentlemen. We are diving right into the Business Bully Podcast. Now, of course, we, we, we always talk about leadership. We talk about being transformational. We talk about growth. How does one who has a leadership mindset find... I, no, before I can say find, how does one who, who, who focuses on growth and has a leadership mindset um, identify and then find their tribe? Tribe. If you are a life coach, if you are a certified professional life coach, there's no such thing because nobody regulates it. I could literally, my two-year-old can be a certified professional life coach. All I got to do is sign her up. Those are facts. There, there is no governing body for life coaches. It is not regulated by the government. There is no oversight. There's no nothing. So anybody who's everybody can be a life coach. Iyanla Van Zant is not a life coach. She's Iyanla Van Zant. She wrote some books. She hooked up with Oprah. Boom. The end. Sorry. Those are facts. That's not how the world works, people. It, it, it's just not. So if you run around here to me, oh, I'm a certified professional life coach and I, I've completed 15,000 hours of life coach training by Ray J. Johnson and his Uncle Winky's Basement Academy of Life Coaches, LLC, CBS, NBC, MTV, VH1, Hardy Boys. Like, no, like, I am putting out a full on assault on these gurus and these coaches that ain't coached their way out of a wet paper bag with a weed whacker and a machete. I am sick of it. These gurus will have you strung out. They will make you believe that there's something wrong with you. And there's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with them. They're called predators. They're called leeches. They are succubi, the, the, the plural of succubus, from the seventh circle of hell. So unless you Dante and you want to go down in this inferno, I don't know why you're messing with the damn gurus anyplace. If you have not shared the video, share the video because you go get this work. I don't like gurus. I don't. Because I don't think it's necessary. You know what? Because what no gurus going to save me from being homeless and washing my gonads in the gas station sink in, in Arlington, Texas at the quick trip at 360 in, in um, Carrier. It wasn't going to happen. Like I, I, I had to bully myself out of that situation. Ain't no guru going to do that. And if the gurus only come around when it's time to sell something, they are hotel pirates. Because what they do is they'll rent out a ballroom at a hotel. And they will tell you that they've got all these things in it one day. And they're going to come in and they're going to show you all these amazing things. You get so swelled up and so, um, so mystified by all their stuff. Then the next thing you know, you know, you've been robbed of your booty. That's where the term booty comes from. It's the treasure. So when people talk about, oh, she got a nice booty, what they're saying is the treasure's in that ass. Just in case you're not keeping up. But listen to me. Michelle says, I had a business coach tell me to contact SBA to find out what to do next. See what happens when you just don't pay the bully first? Pay the bully first. So, I am the Suge Knight of business coaches. If you don't want business coaches running all up on your stuff, taking up all your money, not giving y'all results, come to death row. <laughs> this is what it is. But no, man, like you cannot win if you're messing around with losers.